Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft. My name is Sixseed and in this episode I want to explore. I've been wanting to explore for a long time now, but I just got distracted constantly with uh, building stuff and so on. So I think I will build like a small boathouse from like, you know, it makes sense, you know, we need to build a boathouse so we can explore by a boat. And I'm going to try to explore the seas. Okay, so here we have the boathouse. As you can see, it has two floors, and we can go in here just to ride in with our boat. And then get out, and we're here. So this is the bottom floor. Here we have something like rudders or so. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I found an emerald ore while making it, and I thought I'd preserve it to wait until I have fortune or silk touch. And here are different like boats with chests and boats, regular boats. Here is like the assembly part where they would assemble to take the chest here and put it on the boat and of course a stockpile of boats and here we have yeah just a few extra for storage and if you head upstairs here we have a great view <laughs> I love this that's why we have the window the window and then the hammock here where you can sleep and then you wake up to the nice view I think that's pretty neat and then here we have a terrace like skylight and uh, a small long uh, long chair to like lay in and just sunbathe you know <laughs> very cool and yeah as you saw in the time lapse from the for the roof i used uh, these uh, campfires or extinguished campfires which i think look pretty cool and they also do let a little bit of light through so yeah kind of nice so it's been a while since i've uploaded last and in the meantime i made a windmill as you can see uh, i think it looked pretty cool uh, sort of, yeah, big windmill. And uh, yeah, I did a few other things here and there, like this uh, smeltery where I can put just put in lava. It's kind of cool. And then uh, this is a small glow lichen farm. But the reason for this windmill building was because I wanted to make a mushroom stem farm. So I wanted to farm the stems, but unfortunately when they grow, you still need silk touch to farm the stems, so this is just like a regular mushroom farm. Which I actually already have. <laughs> Here I made like a... I hope you can see well enough. It is like a regular mushroom farm. I just plant the mushrooms and then here I can click this button and water will come out and flush them out. So yeah. And I did a few other things here and there, but uh, now I think it's about time that we explore. So let's head into a boat and get everything ready and explore the seas. Alright, so I think I'm ready to explore. I packed uh, most of my things in here, so I got some tools, some shears, uh, if I need to make new tools or something. Uh, food and doors, and even an instant health potion. So that's cool. But now I need the most important thing. Uh, if I just get my crafting table out. The most important thing is this brush, of course. It's the new 1.20 thing, so if I find any suspicious sand, I can use my brush to brush it and maybe find some cool stuff. And I also got a book where I can uh, write down coordinates or other cool stuff. At the moment it's raining, so I think I'm just going to head upstairs and wait for it to be nighttime so then I can sleep the rain away. And then we can start tomorrow exploring. All right, a bright new day. Let's head down to the boat and get to exploring. I'm really hoping for moss or for uh, bamboo, but uh, I guess we'll see. Right, first interesting thing up ahead here. We have a dark wood, dark oak wood forest. That's pretty cool. I think I'll get out and grab myself a few uh, saplings. Then I have a new a new wood. It's awesome. Okay, so this is a bit of a peculiar find. We have a floating tree. <laughs> Super weird tree. Generation here has been a bit strange anyways. But uh, yeah, this tree is the weirdest. 
Weirdest I've ever seen in Minecraft. <laughs> and up ahead I see something cool. So this appears to be a village. So I'll try to find it and see what there is. Right, the village wasn't terrible. I got a lot of wheat, that's good. I got some potatoes, which is new, and some emeralds. But other than that, at the brewing stand maybe. But other than that, nothing really great. So yeah, let's just keep on exploring. So here we have a shipwreck, which is great. So I have my doors and uh, yeah, I'll try to see what there is to see. I'm hoping bamboo or moss. Maybe both, maybe none, we'll see. Oh boy, okay, the first chest I look in, we have moss and we have bamboo, which is awesome. I mean, I don't really care about the wheat. Carrots are nice, I didn't have carrots before. Poison potato are fine and then suspicious too is cool. Leather tunic with mending, I mean, I'll take it, but yeah. Okay, I realize you can't see anything. <laughs> I'm also struggling. But yeah, that's great. Uh, both things that I wanted. That's awesome. So yeah, I think I'll try to continue exploring as much as I can. Maybe we'll find something cool, but uh, yeah, it's pretty dark down there. Okay, so I'm underneath the boat. I'm hoping I can chuck this suspicious stew and see something. If it will me night vision. Oh, it did. It did. Oh, that's the one I looted. No, 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 no. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly check for other... Yes, there is one here. Oh wait, that's the one I looted. Oh, that was the one I looted. Oh, rip. Okay, well I got lucky with the... Oh, how do I get out? I get out. No, 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 no. Don't die now, don't die now, don't die now. Oi, 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 Okay, well I got lucky with the suspicious stew, but I didn't see any more chests. But yeah, to be honest, I think I'm happy. I got the uh, moss and the uh, bamboo. And I am pretty lost at the moment, so I think I'll try to find my way back. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know if I make it. So I couldn't help myself, I continued exploring. And here is another shipwreck. But this is a bit more... Or it's not upside down. So maybe I can see some cool stuff or, uh, you know, actually see. <laughs> oh no, wait, I placed it. No, 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 get out, get out, get out. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll try to explore this one and see what I can find. Alright, so there's a chest right back here. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, take it all, take it all. Take it all, I got my first ruin. Take it all. Uh. Okay, yes, awesome. I got my smithing template, coast armor trim. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, awesome. Uh... Yeah, let's look at the other chests also. Alright, so jackpot. I did find another smithing template, so I have four of these. More moss and more bamboo, of course. <laughs> uh, but then I also found this treasure map. So I think I'm gonna try to find this treasure map. And after that, I hopefully will be able to find home. We'll see. But yeah, it looks like we have to head northeast. So, yeah. I'll see you there. I did find an ocean monument right here on the way, so I have to head east from here, but uh, yeah, I took the cords down in my book and quill, so yeah, maybe for future we'll need it. Oh, and there's a savannah. Wait, what is? Savannah? Yeah. Then I can get more saplings. It's awesome. <laughs> Two in one. So there is a trick to this, but I don't remember it, unfortunately. So yeah, I think I'll just have to dig my way through and uh, hope that it is somewhere around here. So after destroying the landscape here, I found out the trick. Uh, I need to just align some numbers on the F3 screen. Uh, there where it says block, the ones in, in the parentheses, that they are at 9, and then anything, and then again a 9. So yeah, figure it out, and let's see. Ooh, all right. Very nice, very nice. The hard to see. It's awesome. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let me get all this loot and then, uh, yeah. Then we'll head home. Or so I thought. Here the savannah while I was collecting the saplings. I saw this. This is a mangrove forest. Or a mangrove swamp, sorry. And I do want to get some propagules. So I can also get... Gimme, give gimme. Give okay, here. Gimme. Thank you. Yes, so I can also get some of these trees, uh, which is really cool. So yeah, really glad that I found this, but now I really have to head back. Otherwise I will never find uh, 
never find my home. And I'm also running dangerously low on inventory space. So yeah, let's get back. We have the proper ghouls, we have the acacia saplings. So we should be all set. So I'm pretty lost at the moment, but I'm in a swamp and I did just see this. This is a black cat. I once tamed the black cat, uh, but it was off camera. Then I thought it vanished somewhere. So is this mine? This is my cat. Wait, so home should be somewhat close. And here it is. Oh, finally. So glad to be home. Taking all these lily pads. That's fine. That is fine. Okay, I'm going to drop off my stuff and then I'm going to go get my cat. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so I dropped everything off. Now here we have my cat. I wrote on the cords. I need to go get my cat. And I think it's easiest without uh, the boat. Because then I have to ride in the rivers and stuff. Like lily pads. So yeah, I'm just going to go over there and bring my cat back. And we were fairly close from the witch hut. So yeah, I think I'll leave the black cat here. Come on inside. Yeah, yeah, you can sit here. And then I'll see if there's a witch, but probably not. <laughs> no, this witch farm isn't as effective <laughs> as I had hoped it to be. But uh, yeah, we'll leave the black cat here for now. Very cool that I found it again. Very nice. And uh, yeah, let's head back home. So that was a very effective adventure. We found a village, an ocean monument, and then, of course, my cat. But yeah, we also found ma mangrove proper ghouls, acacia saplings, dark oak saplings, and of course, bamboo and the moss. So I'm really excited about the moss and the bamboo, because now we can really start to get farming and have some fun. And yeah, it's going to be great. So in the next episode, I'm sure we'll do something with those two. So until then, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.